Hey everybody, it's Matt Powers. I'm an author, gardener, seed saver, permaculturist, and family guy, and I teach people everywhere how to live more regeneratively. And today, I wanna talk about why nitrogen in excess, when you have too much nitrogen, it's really a bad thing. Now, many people think nitrogen is like the key, and that there's, there's a history behind this. Um, because we see, we associate nitrogen with growth, with, with, um, vegetative growth as an essential ingredient in fertilizers, but too much nitrogen is associated with diseases, with pests, um, with imbalances. And there's a reason for that. And so when nitrogen, when there's too much nitrogen, what happens is it grows too fast. And so it has thin cell walls, bigger cells, and the, the nutrition is imbalanced. So the minerals don't encode at the same rate in the right, you know, proportions because there's so much nitrogen. We see this in water sprouts, right? When, when there's just all this water growth and it's weak and it's disease prone, it's because it is, it's going too fast and it's not in balance. It's not taking everything in and putting everything in its right place in the proper proportions. And if you think about composting, nitrogen and carbon must be in balance or else it breaks down too fast, gases off. So thinking about that, when we think about too much nitrogen, have you ever heard of people using hot chicken manure, right, hot manure, and it burning their plants? What's happening there? Well, it's breaking down those plants, and the plants are literally gassing off. And so we have this toxicity, this disease-prone nature, and then the pests, you know, and and fungal pests or, or actual insects, you know, can actually get into those cells very easily. And when a, a plant is super healthy, that doesn't happen. And so when we look in, in human nutrition, we see something similar. If you guys know Dave Asprey, you know, a uh, father of biohacking, bulletproof uh, diet, bulletproof coffee guy, he's actually a permaculture guy as well and a regenerative guy as well. And he talks about how too much nitrogen can screw us up in our diet as well. And so there's, and, and many people have talked about this, um, the Gerson therapy, um, the cancer fighting therapy has talked about uh, having too much nitrogen in your diet, too much protein is what they said, but it is <laughs> a primary component of protein. And so it's really important to understand that also plants want nitrogen in the form that they can readily use. If you give it to them in the wrong form, if you are in really reduced soils, really alkaline soils, and you have this issue with um, too much nitrates, um, or you only have nitrates, the plants have to convert it into something else, you know, through a process and takes energy to turn it into protein. But if you have a lot of good activity in the soil, healthy soil, you're gonna have a lot of amino acids being created by the soil life. And they are going to provide the ability to create proteins very, very easily. So we need to design our soil in such a way that it realizes all this. And I, I like to have buffers. So. This right here, I mean, you've seen the five cousins. This is the, one of the rebound leftovers of that. And you see that it's daikon radish. And daikon radish is a nitrogen scrounger. So it's going in there and it's picking up all that excess nitrogen. So there's not too much nitrogen so that it can actually be broken down in organic matter in a bioavailable form. So it can be taken up by their so soil food web members and just redistributed. Um, out, out of certain forms. It can be translocated. It can be consumed by animals, translocated. There's so many different pathways there. But knowing the buffers, knowing, you know, the different plants, the different forms of nitrogen, all these things are so critically important. And that's why I've been working on the Regenerative Soil Science and Solutions Manual. And that's why I've been like talking all nerdy about science and all the different things that you can do and all the different plants. And 
different soil microorganisms and endophytes and all these different things that um, you might not even find in any of the gardening or soil books that are out currently. So there's a lot to talk about. I'm just wanting to share a little bit with you and get you excited because I've just opened pre-orders for the Regenerative Soil Science and Solutions Manual. So you can click on the link below and pre-order your copy. There's there's no other book like this. And the reason I know this is because I've bought all the books. I've bought the expensive books. I've got an incredible library. But it's not keeping up. The, the published works are not keeping up with the peer-reviewed published journals and research that's coming out so strong that we need to reevaluate what we're doing, how we're doing it, and how we're thinking about all these things because there are fundamental new paradigms of how we think about and look at and treat soil. So get excited. I'm gonna go inside and get warm. <laughs> but I wanted to make this video and share with you why nitrogen, you know, is very important, but too much of it is, is, is bad, is not good. Um, and so it causes toxicity, it causes disease, it causes all these imbalances. So we need to have our nitrogen and you know, our protein, all these different things in our soil and our bodies, in, in the cycles around us, in balance. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And check out that book, go click the link, see the other pictures, the things I haven't released on here yet. And get a sneak peek of what's possible because I guarantee it will change the way you look at soil. It'll change the way you look at life and the world around you forever if you just go and look at one of the first pictures on there. And if you are like, which one? Look at the one that talks about this hard, the hardware, the software, and the users. Because <laughs> that will change everything. All right. Have an awesome day. I'll see you soon.